Hello Linux fans, welcome to Linux Quest and another episode of Gnome Quest where we take a look at settings and tweaks and extensions for the Gnome desktop environment. And today we've got a look at a cool extension called Dash to Panel. So we're going to step through ways that this can radically change the default look of your Gnome desktop. So while Dash to Panel is easy to set up and put in place as far as extensions go, it can totally change the default look of your GNOME desktop, which we see here, where you have your traditional panel at the top, as well as a panel here at the left with quick access to the full screen launcher and your favorite icons. Now in this case, I've changed the look of the icons in the wallpaper, and I do have an extension that adds some extra functionality up here in the top panel, but beyond that, this is your typical overall look of your typical GNOME desktop. Now, we're going to take a look at the options within Dash to Panel and change things up, and in the end, I think what I'm going to be able to show you is a combination look of the... Um, the KDE panel combined with a little bit of the Ubuntu Mate panel with application and places. So, uh, alright, let's jump into the GNOME Tweak tool and from there we're going to go to extensions. Now I've got videos in the GNOME Quest series that step through both the um, options within the GNOME Tweak tool as well as how to go in and set up various extensions. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the dash to dock, which is this panel here on the left. Now you'll see that that immediately disappears, and now we're going to turn on the previously installed dash to panel. Now immediately you'll see that the icons that were in the panel here on the left have jumped up here to the top panel, and this top panel has also enlarged based on the icon size that we have within the dash to panel settings. Now you'll see here you still have your application launcher for full screen apps and you also have your activities button or toggle to put you into the full screen activities mode. Alright so from there we're going to jump into the settings within dash to panel and really give this a different look. Alright, so into settings you're going to see four tabs. The first one's position and size. The second one is behavior. The third one is appearance. And the fourth is about, which takes us to dash to panel version 6. Alright, so let's jump back over here to position and size. Now the first option you're going to have is top or bottom for this panel position. It would be nice to see left and right here, but I'm really happy to see bottom because that automatically totally changes the way the GNOME desktop looks. Now our next option here, I had previously bumped up to 64 for the purposes of the video because you can see this a little easier, but we're going to adjust it down in just a minute. But before we do, I want to point out another option here, which is the dots indicator for running applications. And maybe you can see that right now it's on the bottom. We're going to toggle, toggle not taggle, we're going to toggle that little dot to the top here. And again, it's going to be hard to see. Uh, but perhaps you can see that in the video. The other option we have is the position of the clock. Right now it's to the right of the, of the um, status menu. We're going to move that over to the left and you'll see that jump over there. And then you also have natural position which I think puts it ahead of anything that's over here. Uh, no matter what you've got running over there. Alright, so we're going to go back to the right. And now that we've got all that in place, you'll see that it's already starting to take a really different look. Uh, but we're not done here so we're going to jump back into the settings. Next we're going to go over to behavior and we're going to start to turn some things off. So the first thing we're going to toggle off is this full screen application launcher. We're also going to turn off the activities button and then we'll also turn off the app menu which will uh, turn this off here. This is for any uh, open or running applications. So we'll toggle that off. But I'm going to leave the Windows Preview on. I happen to like that and I use that. So we're going to leave that turned on. Now our next option here is Isolate Workspaces. If I had Workspaces set up, we'd have an option there. And then you have Click Action. Now here we're going to choose uh, some additional settings. So you've got Shift plus Click Action, Middle Click Action, and Shift plus Middle 
click action for your middle uh, mouse if you've got a mouse wheel or a button there in the center of your mouse. And for that, you've got options for raise window, minimize window, launch a new instance, cycle through the windows, or cycle through the windows plus minimize, and then you've got quit. All right, so that's it for the options on behavior. So now let's kind of close this out and minimize this again. And now you start to see things take shape, I think. Now it's overly large, but I'm going to adjust that down here in just a minute. Um, but now if I were to just kind of step back and look at this, this reminds me of the bottom panel that you would see maybe within KDE, for example. So let's jump back in and do some more adjustment. So I want to add an application and places to this. Now application and places is something you see within Ubuntu Mate within one of their settings that you can set up on the panel and I happen to really like that. That was one of my favorite aspects of the panel settings that you had within Ubuntu uh, Mate. Alright so with that said we'll get back in here and uh, I'm going to adjust this back down real quick to a more let me just say a more common size here. And then what we're going to do is close that out and we're going to open up two more extensions. So you have applications menu extension. We'll toggle that on. And then you have another extension here, places status indicator. And I had both of those pre-installed. Once you've got those toggled on, uh, you'll see here what I think is a really nice setup. And again, this is so different from your typical GNOME setup, but still really, really functional. Now, I would love to see um, one option here, which would be to adjust the transparency of this bottom panel, or perhaps uh, adjust the color of this bottom panel. Right now, it's at black, and you cannot adjust the transparency. So, uh, if the developer happens to catch this video, that's just a suggestion. Uh, now let's jump over here and look at application launcher. So this is a simple straightforward application launcher where you have categories on the left. You still have activities overview here and then your applications on the right. It's fast fluid and it's never given me any problems. That's one of the reasons I like it. Plus I'm a desktop user as opposed to touch interface user and so for that it works. Uh, the other thing that we added here, the other extension we toggle on is places and this gives you quick access to home documents, so on and so forth, computer, any favorite folders you've set up, or network folder. So all in all, I really like this combination. So far the extension has been rock solid, job well done, and speaking of that, let's jump in here and go to extensions. I want to give a shout out to the uh, developer. So we're going to do a search for dash to panel. And uh, with that said, we'll click there. You'll see a description of what the extension does. You'll see these high marks here. Uh, the lowest I've seen without clicking through everything is uh, four stars. I mean, this thing is highly, highly rated. And rightfully so. So shout out to JDE Rose 9 or Jetta Rose 9. Uh, hopefully I didn't butcher that too bad, but thank you for your hard work on this extension. It is absolutely awesome, and I would, I'd say that the one thing that could put it over the top, or maybe two things that could put it over the top, that would be left and right position and the ability to adjust the transparency of the bottom panel, or the panel, wherever you put it. So um, a couple of suggestions for you there, but great work, and thank you for that work. All right, well, I hope this helps you in your quest to tweak out and customize your GNOME desktop. Uh, this extension has really, I think, brought me to a level where now I'm kind of pulling in things that really just keep me uh, using the GNOME desktop, which is a real surprise. Yes, I'm drawn to KDE and everything that's going on there, but when you've got something that's so configurable and works so well, it's hard to leave it. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching, and we will check you later.